My family heritage is something that's extremely important to me. It's something that wasn't always accepted. My grandfather never knew that he was Aboriginal and I find that quite upsetting. I've really been actively searching it out, learning about it, talking to my aunties, having my mob mentor me and all of the things that I've missed out, not having community growing up. I think the things that draw me to my culture is actually just the land. So I grew up in Sydney and I had no idea that I was Aboriginal at the time and I felt a real connection to Parramatta which was so crazy because I didn't understand where that came from. But now knowing that that's where my people were, that's where they lived, that's where they hunted and now understanding where that came from, it's so powerful to me. There's been a couple of difficulties that I've experienced, one of them being my family. So my grandfather was never told because in his era it wasn't accepted and it wasn't supported to be Aboriginal, it was quite a negative thing. Another challenge that I've experienced is I don't fit the typical box that Aboriginals get put into. I look different, I speak different, but that is the good thing about being Aboriginal, we are so diverse, we are everywhere and I think that it's something to be celebrated. If you are going on this journey, you need to be proud of it, take a curious approach, have a look into it, find your connection to country. There's no right time to start looking into your heritage. Even though I grew up not knowing about it and now it is such a big part of my life, I want other people to feel as no fear, pretty much just looking into and identifying as Aboriginal. I think that it's such an important journey to go on and it's so personal and it's something that I am really, really glad that I started. I'm Alina O'Neill and I'm from Darug Country.